easiest thing to do. And if we have questions and things for Simone, if you guys don't mind either putting them in the chat or we can also kind of save it a little bit to the end because I want to, we'll keep, keep things rolling um, for right now. And we'll move next to our next presentation on aesthetics with Guan Yu. Okay, so I'm going to present aesthetics in contemporary cl classroom. So uh, aesthetics is the bunch of the philosoph philosophy that deal with the beauty or the beautiful. That's bring us the question about uh, what is beauty? What, what is beauty? So let's start with the story of Cinderella. We all know it's about a story like a lovely girl and finally, and kindness girl, finally get a happiness end. But if you are the stepmother, will you let Cinderella go to the prom? Like anyone can like type the answer. When you think you are the stepmother, when you stand the um, pers perspective, at a stand, uh, stepmother's side, what you like, um, let the uh, snare go to the prom. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, um, I was thinking, like, if I am the step stepmother, I will not. Mm, I will not let. Cinderella go to the prom because I love my daughter too and I definitely know Cinderella is like beautiful and kind the princess will like <laughs> sorry um so uh if I'm the stepmother I will not let the Cinderella go because I love my daughter and I don't want my daughter like compared to a person like who is better than my daughter. Um, so it's bring me to think about different perspective, give us different result. And um, next is the paintings about the family love. So looking at this um, painting, what do you see? So I can't, can, uh, I can't see the chat, but um, can anyone give me an answer? Um, it looks like some love between uh, the grandson and his grandfather. Yeah. Like what other things can you see? They're looking into each other's eyes a lot. Yeah, they have like uh, eyes contact. And also uh, we can see the nose of the grandfather, which is like not looking good. And um, I think it's very smart that the artist using this, this character to represent a love that is even not being perfect. Your face is like not perfect, but your love is kind of a beauty. So it's the conflict between the outside and inside. Even you're not looking good, you are not a perfect man, but you're still a good, mm, with kids, you're still like showing the love and the kindness. So the next um, painting is the um, Ivan the Terrible and his son Ivan on um, um, 16 November 1581. It's the star in Russia and um, for the power, for uh, flight with the power, um, the Ivan kills his son at that day. And you can see it's like a horrible old man with like, like it's with the, um, um, terrible face, but it's the time he killed his son and all the stick 
and the chair was like um, on the side. At this moment, the power is not important anymore. He shows his like father love and regrets like killing his son. So it brings us the complexity of the humanity. Like you as a father and as a king, as a star, um, and the kindness and terrible side is all showing on this old man. So the beauty and ugliness of humanity are critical. So the understanding of the beauty also should be critical. So there's no a certain answer for what is beauty. Um, so the next question is why has contemporary art become ugly? We can see um, the best Korean art and this shark art. It's, it's a question mark for all of the people that don't know art. Even somebody like learning arts, they still like don't know why, why this painting looks so bad and uh, uh, Jenny Savelle's um, um, portrait, it's look terrible. But what we are really looking at is the um, aesthetics includes like objects, subject and individual. The object is what, what we see in this picture and subject is how, how is this painting um, making? So the individual is why, why, why we need to know and why this painter paint. So the contemporary art and the culture emphasize the importance of subject and individual. And um, for most of us, we only look like, and the people who are not like, to, to go into the art, they were just looking at what, like what I see, what I see is a, uh, mm, ugly and bad painting, but they don't think about how, how it paint and why it paint. So the aesthetics thinking in art education will educate students how and why they need to express self-identity. So our work, mm. The individual includes the idea of irrational and the irration, irrational. The rational part is the critical thinking, which help sharing and the communication. We we need to like um, talking like very rational. We are not fighting. We are not angry about others. And the irrational part is self awareness and express. Um, the personality and the self identity. That's what we express in our artwork in the contemporary art. So to be educated and to be educated, to be educated and educate is to become more fully, fully human, then the arts are definitely the requirement. Because the arts express the uh, humanity and education make us become more fully human. So the art education can be the bridge to the enlightenment for students to understanding thinking of um, postmodernism and the contemporary society more. It helps the, um, the, the human go more, go more and go a big step. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That is really so wonderful. And I have to say, bringing this very, like just the perspective of, uh, I love that notion of we need to have the humanity, you know, the arts are, are like that, the bridge to humanity or bringing that all together, um, I think is just such an important piece to that. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Does anyone have a question or comment for either Guan Yu or Simone? Yeah, um, Mo, for your um, presentation, I 
thought that your themes, well, your themes reminded me of um, this author named Julia Cameron. Um, and based on your themes, I think you might enjoy the work she does. Um, she wrote two popular books um, that basically um, implore people, including people who are already artists or used to be artists, um, to use creativity in their personal life to basically help themselves blossom into the person that they want to be, build their self-confidence, and if they want to, you know, in the end, become a professional artist. So it's kind of, you know, in line um, with the themes you were talking about, and um, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it definitely aligns to the things we're talking about. I'm going to give her a look because um, I could use that because I want to, this is something I want to continue to talk about. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Anybody else have any other questions or comments? Go ahead, Arden. I was going to say for Simone, uh, the crafting, we're doing crafts before like to, as an avenue to get individuals into art. I think is really good. It's actually one of the things I used on one of my friends because she's been my subject. Like I've done a lot of paintings of her, but she's not really, she doesn't think she has any artistic ability. So I like had her help me make some uh, ornaments for last year's Christmas. And then we started doing some things where I was showing her some watercolor and stuff. And then I gave her a sketchbook where she could like put some of her poetry and creative writing in. And I said, hey, you know, decorate it a little bit. Ooh, yeah, DIYs and crafts, good way to go. I wish they weren't, like, they didn't take over social media so people would, like, keep doing them. I really do. <laughs> well, so then maybe that is the charge to y'all, right, is that we need to, like, use your social media and influence to bring more of this, the art and the aesthetics, you know, out there. Um, and, and it's kind of interesting. I feel like there was a lot of overlaps in both presentations of like how we can have this starting point, right? So like talking about whether it be the images on the wall or the crafting or um, even in Guan Yu of using like the art images themselves or just even that question of what is beauty and how do we interpret it as this starting point for something, something bigger, right? To like kind of continue that conversation. Um, and, you know, and I have to say too, with the notion of aesthetics, even not only is it a hard word to say, right? Like I always have to pause myself before I say it, but it's really a, like a dense subject to understand. And so I appreciate, especially with the story of Cinderella or, you know, and the imagery, I thought that was a nice way to teach us about what that study of beauty is. Um, so yeah, anyone have any other questions or comments? Yeah, I also wanted to say, <clears throat> kind of going off of what you were saying a little bit about Guangyu's presentation, I, in the beginning, it was like, and I think this is kind of one of the themes that was coming up when we were talking about research. In the beginning, I was like, okay, where is this going? And then the way it all just like came together was really smart to me, and I really liked it. I think there's something to be said for that. Like this, and this whole semester and really 2020 in a way has been a lot of this, like kind of trust the process, right? In that, how are we, you know, seeing it all come together? But yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, keep the conversation going. Let's keep it moving. So we will move on next to Arden's presentation.